Oh, Phoenix. By the way, I played Detroit Become Human. I don't have it recorded though, because I streamed it. It was in my early days of streaming. So don't mind me. I have to go. Uh, I believe I have to go do the Philippa thing again. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I have to skip all of it. Talk to Cynthia before that, really? Okay. Hi, Tess. How you doing? Uh, but I've also played Kingdom Hearts. Not all of them, but like the trilogy. I grew up with it. So she's in some kind of... I don't even freaking know. So, are you a sorceress now? It's not that simple. A pass is simply not enough. But Philippa Eilhart summoned me here for an important exam, so I hope to be one soon. An exam? A secret one. I'm not even sure exactly how to prepare. I'm cramming intensely, everything bit by bit, just to be sure. Good luck. Still willing to sell me potions and herbs? I'm a student, aren't I? Every little copper counts. I'm collecting information about the Wild Hunt. Help me out. One, two, the and Wild three. Hunt. A no, retinue not birth of wraiths who speed across the heavens upon skeletal horses. That was an inn. It's a ruin. Positive proof of its existence has yet to be proffered. However, no one is prepared oh, to I know deny its about. occasional sorties into this world. Proffered? Sorties? That, at least, is what I remember from the lectures. Good job. I'm proud of you. No, I love this. I don't, I don't want to. I love his hair like this. Um, in the inn that I found the drunk guys. Okay. Mm, nothing special. Mm, nothing special. Goldfinch. Welcome. Thank you. Yakov. Welcome. Thank you. Okay, those are guards that I cannot talk to. Uh, I don't remember. Okay, so there was this. Is it this? Oh, what the frick? Now, I'm in the sewers. That's not right. Right? Ooh, I finished Delay Noir yesterday. Talking about sewers. That, what a game. I'm just gonna go into every room. Hey! Watch it! This is my house now! I love it. Look at my house, everyone. Do you like my new house? <gasps> I am a cat! Hi! Oh, hello! Oh! Oh my god! Hi! Hi, sweetie! Oh my goodness, you're so cute! What the fuck is that? Um... Kitty, what is that? Map of Hunter. Okay. I'll uh. rip your guts out! Die! Is that like a voodoo doll? I'm not, I don't, I don't deserve to live. I don't deserve to live. Oh, 
<laughs> I don't know. I don't know what happened. <laughs> auto targeted. It auto. It auto targeted. Okay, put your. I'm putting my sword away. I'm living with the consequences of my actions. Okay, that was just terrible. Why are we allowed to kill the cats? Kill. I know, I know. Wait, I should be arrested for that. I should be arrested for that, for real. They should arrest me for that. I should be blinded for that. Cole Phelps coming to you. I'm so sorry, guys. Where am I? I don't know where I am. I feel like I just got 10 years of bad luck. For the cats! <laughs> Witcher. That poor cat, you must not have liked it. I did! Uh oh. You know what? We're just gonna load. We're just gonna load and it's never gonna have happened. That sound good to everyone? No, the cat's still alive. So you can't kill the dogs though, because for some reason it just like targeted. No. Help. I'm scared now I'm gonna kill an animal accidentally. Oh. <coughs> I don't know which way it is. Hey there. <laughs> Renov magic, I tell you. Shatter your towers and crystal balls. A gargoyle contract. Mighty Numa. I did that though. Break your wands and burn your hands. Have thought. Turn away the black. I don't know where it's Oh, there she is. We need to talk. Of course. I killed a cat accidentally. The cat killed a cat accidentally. These ruins must hold many secrets. I'm certain of that. It was a beautiful city, a city full of talent and hope. But that it'll ended with the coming of the Nordling armies. Think the city would have survived if those armies had been Imperial? Your king started the war with the Enshe. Nilfgaard's relations with the elves have always been peaceful. They really did a job on your brain. Girl. You had me fooled back in Vergen. That sweet face of yours. Never suspected it could belong to someone who fanatically believes in conquering the North. Mock me if you must. But I truly believe one huge empire is humanity's only hope. Many nations under one crown. With shared laws, advanced science, burgeoning industry and trade and no wars of course sounds great let me know when it works out <laughs> i'd gladly spend my old age in a land like that right that was an interesting adventure cynthia yes people bond over experiences like okay that. are we about yeah, to sleep together makes you wonder what happened back in vergen did you get your promotion not yet but his imperial majesty rewards dedication can he discern the truth from lies? What do you mean? I take it the Emperor has no idea his sorceress helped a mutant kill a Nilfgaardian mage. It was a dangerous expedition. Casualties were inevitable. He'll content himself with That's that. That's really interesting, Phoenix. Got time to talk? Or are you off on another dangerous mission? Oh. Even we Nilfgaardian agents rest sometimes. Okay, I swear. Oh, oops. Used the artifact yet? I'm working on improving it. I think it'll be useful one day. I found some of Derenna's notes. He studied the history of the Vrans, right? Among other things. He makes several mentions of an epidemic. Loch Muin conceals many more secrets than we imagined. I doubt we'll ever know all of them. Well, if Derenna's to be trusted, the epidemic had something to do with the Enshe. Maybe the Vrans caught the disease from the elves. 
I'm no expert on diseases, Witcher. Who knows? Perhaps Dare Henna was right, and the decline of Brani civilization was much darker and more sudden than we thought. Mm. You knew what we'd find in that laboratory. Come again? You wanted the bacteria strains that killed the Vrans, or more precisely, Derhenna's notes from his research Nilfgaard about to do bio this is very warfare. dangerous knowledge. I suspect that's exactly why the Emperor is so interested. The North is in chaos. An epidemic is the last thing you need. <laughs> it's actually and one nice. could break out if Derhenna's book fell into the wrong hands. Fortunately, it's now in the right hands. In Emir's civilized and manicured hands. Precisely. I'm finding it hard to believe anything you say. Did you come here to insult me? Uh, no. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what exactly do you want? Ooh. Oh! I was curious. I wanted to see which Cynthia I'd meet this time. The spy, Carol. the sorceress, or maybe a woman. Which were you hoping to meet? The real one. Let's assume you're speaking to her. How do you like her? Let's say I like her quite a bit. Compliments are clearly not your forte. I just Who is that in her. the corner? Gonna tell me why you invited me. Let's say I was interested to see which Geralt would show up. And who's watching? Uh uh. No, not every single fucking oh. <sighs> open day and night it's not that kind of fire the eternal fire is the light of truth oh shit the heart of a true community only in the eternal fire beneath the sign of this clan can we know so bad. it's been every single stream man, his fellow man <laughs> oh, oh i can access storage again yeah so ooh. I'm not using headphones. Oops. <laughs> Ew. Oh, I sold it. Oh, okay, fine. I thought it was storage. Boop, boop, boop. Where is Philippa? I like direct storage. I'm sick. I she can. Oh, I can't put it in the storage. In okay. Okay, I see what's going on. I'm afraid. But it said sold. Like that's the word it used. So that was confusing. How did the dwarven bartender transfer that to? Oh. Um, to this one. <laughs> it's so funny. Oh, yeah, Shin, totally. 100%. I'd like to access storage again, shall we? Let's do... Cloth. 
So anything that's like a crafting component, I'm gonna put in there because... Yeah. All I need is the in... Okay, so that's in alchemy. Alchemy. Crafting. Talk to her again. Audacity. Put yourself together. Okay, so now let's go back and do the Philippa thing. Yes. So what I did. Oh, really? Z? Is that true? Okay, cool. So I think what I did though was I talked I to this guy. What do you want, Whitey? Feeling lucky? Smelled something awful. Thought it was dumb. So we already now went I see through it's this. Only a couple of Redani what was that? Bloody bastard. What we do is we're gonna fight and then we're gonna get arrested. And then we're gonna go to the dungeons and unfortunately Philippa gets blinded. So we're gonna skip all that. I don't wanna watch it again. It made me really sad. But if you missed it, it's in the VOD from last stream. What's it, going on here? Yeah. Enough! That's between me and these fuckwits. That's not for you to decide. A stint in the dungeon or to come. A stupid street fight and you are a prick. Bind this! Yeah! It, uh, it, it. You here? They don't want to watch her get blinded. What do you do? I would. I am um, to rap sure. Why is this? Did you? I, I why? Did I your majesty. <laughs> I'm no longer. What? You. You Rad conspired. Lloyd, you and fucking what? suck. Um, some You're mad. You suck the bad. Eh, uh, oh, uh, uh, uh. The end. You. You. That's torture. No. I refuse to believe. I was really hankering. What's so it? I. I. Your. I. Forgive me. The no. I've nothing against. And you, I'm full of a break soup. <laughs> soup. <laughs> Same. Soup. Radovid is capable, but too young. He has yet to understand that only the dead remain truly silent. Malice, because yes, welcome. A favor, I feel obliged to help. Let that. What favor do you. That's. Okay, let's see. Nobody likes others to decide for them. That's especially we got distracted true of by you You're know a dangerous time. witcher and too independent. In time, Radovid will thank me, and he won't be alone. Kill him, but beware his sorcery. Hold him, heart. You piece of shit. Ah! 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 Yes. Ah! Kill him. Can we kill him, please? I would love to. Get me out of here! I need some answers first. Really, Geralt? I mean... Was Schiller telling the truth about the Lodge, the assassinations? He said exactly what Radovid wanted to hear. Half-truths, musings stripped of context, which differ very little from lies. Did Triss take part in all this? 
She's clean in those terms. Innocent as a child, but only to a point. I assure you, she has not been honest with you about many other matters. Why did all this happen? Murdering monarchs, what interests did it serve? I can't fathom. Help wow. me get out of here and I'll explain all and lift the spell from Saskia. Take these shackles off me and lead me to my house. I beg you. I'll tell you everything. Everything. Where's Saskia? When I was arrested, she was with Sheila. They must be on their way to the deliberations by now. Right, Phoenix. And it's not, it's more just like, if we were playing as a sorceress, I feel like our point of view would be very different, but we're playing as Geralt, who is more unbiased in that way, but I can see how, I don't know the full story, but just so far, like, it's these really powerful sorceresses and they're tied to these kings and like, they're often mistreated and they're feared and it's just like, <sighs> I don't know. From their point of view, I can understand, but then from Geralt's point of view, it's just like, I don't know. And she did not deserve to be blinded. How does the spell work? Saskia's will and mine are one. She cannot resist me, but fear not. There's no suffering involved. She merely believes me to be the most wonderful person in the world, as if she were in love. Okay. You know what's most beautiful? In spite of all this, she seems unchanged. Aww. She's retained her charm, her valor, her honor. I didn't track you alone. Yorvith can't wait to see you again. Everyone is scheming. Yep. My death even even Geralt. Yorvith and all like you have no bit. right to judge others. Clock's ticking. Time is of the essence. Why do you do this? Would you take vengeance on a blind woman? Shillard said they've got Triss. I have to free her before they put out her eyes too. Going to the Nilfgaardian camp is suicide. And leaving a friend is villainy. Only I know how to break the spell that holds Saskia. Get me out of here. If I die, she'll remain forever spellbound. Uh, this is hard. I, th uh, I don't know. Ah, uh, frick. I think I have to help her right now. I'm sorry if anyone's mad at me, but I know Tris doesn't die. Like, I know she doesn't die, and maybe that's spoilers. Hi, Teeth. Hi, Tradu. Um, I know it's... I'm sorry. I don't know. I just... I feel like the right thing to do is to help her out. I'm sorry. I don't know. All right. But if you're lying to me, I just, it's I'm really binary. hard. Like, I don't and think that I can way. leave her here. We must return through the sewers. The shackles stay on, and you'll go first. I believe she will that. raise the alarm. No, he won't. We'll be long gone by the time he comes to kill him. I'm not into murdering unconscious old men. Lead on. No tricks, Phil. I want to get out of here, and I want to leave. Sure you won't faint on me? I'll manage. Will you remove my shackles? The manacles stay on. Because I really do think, like, we'll get to Triss eventually. It's just if we're going to get her out of here right away. You're there! Uh-oh. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. I just kind of want to choose mercy for her in this moment. Who did this to her? It was Radovid's way of thanking her for the care she provided him when he was a child. I saw him with his army on his way to the talks, whistling a tune. Get me out of here! Shut up, witch! You're alive only because you're still needed. Philip has promised to help us in exchange for her freedom. And you believe her? Know a better way to free Saskia? 
Got the strength to walk, Eilhart? I must find it. What state is Saskia in now? I've ordered her to carry out Sheila's bidding until I return. Great. And Sheila will be at the talks? Yes. She's probably there already, making certain the Lodge's plans do not fall through. What's Sheila supposed to safeguard? The restitution of the Council and Conclave, and the creation of a strong, independent state with Saskia as its leader. I know, but you're influencing what Saskia. Aim? As a bulwark, a defense against Nilfgaard. Oh, shit. After years of chaos and destruction, the time has come to build. We wish to rule, yes. Where is the fault in that? Everyone wants to rule. I know how to do that. Better than any other monarch in this city. You can't hope to win the common folk's trust. Humans will never accept a sorceress queen. Non-humans won't either, given what that old hag Finderbear has achieved. They all believe in Saskia. They all trust her. The girl is a born leader, yet she has no political instincts. She's charismatic, but not cunning. Courageous, but not fierce. She is just, but lacks the required cruelty. She is your very opposite. Perhaps. Together we would be unstoppable. Mm, wow. I mean, I'm glad I got that context because I was confused. I was like, what are they planning? But of course that makes sense. Um, it's just hard for me because why would I accept these human men. My cat says he ruling. loves your bangs less than three. <gasps> De Poe, thank you to you and your cat. Two years, 24 months. Look at that. Look at that. Thank you so much. She is a killer of kings to get what she wants, but why is that, to me, why is that different? Like, I know Foltest was Foltest, and he was, he was nice, but... I don't think that my Geralt is attached to, okay, this human guy is king and how dare you kill him when, you know, we're standing with Yorvith who has killed a lot of innocent people. Um, it's hard. It's just, I don't think that she's particularly more evil in orchestrating or helping to orchestrate and upheaval and also my girl just slept with cynthia who is kind of like the same side of a different side of the same coin because she's like i just want a unified state and that would be nilfgaard and she's kind of saying the same thing you know it's tough i just all i'm saying i'm not saying she's right i'm just saying i do have sympathy for her for sure did you order full test murdered? No! Okay. Shillard claimed that Triss testified. Triss doesn't know what she's talking about. The Lodge exists, and Triss has lost our trust. All that is true. But full test's assassination? That was not my order. Mm. Okay. I believe what her. What would you have done if Saskia hadn't been poisoned? If a certain foolish witcher hadn't gathered the potion ingredients? I would have sought other means. But I couldn't miss that opportunity. How do we free Saskia? I have charmed a Cat's dagger eye. with a counterspell. You must thrust it into the she-dragon's heart. You mean your heart, witch? Do you mock us? There is no other way. She must be struck with surgical precision. Otherwise, the counterspell won't work. I believe All her. the blade's runes I must touch hard. blood, and its point must pierce a chamber of her heart. We'll need to hold her down somehow. Hold down a dragon? This is ridiculous. She's lying, Geralt. I don't trust her. Why would she even need this dagger? In a minute, we'll hear that she planned to free Saskia herself. Any time you cast a spell or a curse, you must have a counterspell at the ready. It's a basic rule of magic. I prepared the dagger just before I cast the spell in case anything went awry. A basic rule? But I don't know many mages who follow it. Where's the dagger? My quarters. 
in Geoffrey Monk's former home, inside a well-secured chest. I know the house. Yorveth, know any way to get to Philip's quarters? This is a beautiful sewer. Through this sewer, That's we may valid, encounter Phoenix. monsters, but we'll gain a lot of time. Keep an eye on her. I'll go ahead. I feel like that's what makes this game so good because there really isn't a right choice. Um, and if you feel passionately that you gotta make a right choice, it's just. This place, eh? Knowing you, it's probably a damsel in distress. It's uh, <laughs> alright. Beautiful fucking sewer ever. stench too. Wait here. It's funny too because um like I I was sus of Philippa. I was sus and all it took was just watching her getting blinded for me to be like sympathetic towards her. It's crazy. It's like oh here's this character that kind of used you and is scheming to kill kings and stuff but you're also gonna watch her get blinded by some icky, gross guy. <sighs> it's a good game. Oh my god, there! Sir! Hi! Welcome! It wasn't the spanking that made you trust her? Oh, the spanking made me love her. But the trust came after... Well, I don't know if I trust... I trust her now because she's at her, like, lowest. You know what I mean? Um... She's pretty much at rock bottom, so I do trust her. But... She's in love with Saskia? <gasps> no way! I mean, I thought that she might have a crush on her, but she really loves her? That's a very interesting take. I'm interested in hearing what you think about that. That's so sad. And, but also it's just like, yeah, she manipulates her. I think she just wants to be in control. I would love, I mean, I would make it my head canon that she's in love with Saskia just because gay, love that. Um, anyways, <laughs> I, I don't know. I could tell that she at least admired her. Yeah. And like, you know, thought she was beautiful and just the way that she talks about her is really sweet and admitting that she's not like her, like her opposite. Oh, 
I, again, I haven't played the... ambition and being power hungry yep i bet her dream would look like swimming at her side and she's she's ruling somehow you know naked women at her side Healing spells require focus and precision i cannot manage one now die from the pain then rest assured no one will help you nor weep for you keep moving Yorvith. See, it's a love triangle. She loves Saskia. Yorvith loves Saskia. <laughs> Besties, you're both amazing. Okay? The buys love you, Yorvith. Get all you best check the room before we enter. I don't like this. Okay, I will. Neither do I. Well, you know, Yorvith has threatened Geralt before with Saskia, too. Like, when we admitted that we knew her secret, <laughs> he was just like, you fucking tell anyone. I'll get ya. He loves her. He has a big crush. Bumble, what's that you? Bumble. I'm waiting for it to tell me who did that. Oh, Soba! Soba, thanks for the hundred bits. The spank! <laughs> oh, no. Ard. Okay, so let's do this one. Yeah. So I use it all the time. Thank you so much. Hi, Lewis. Remove the dimeritium. I can help you. Shut up. Shut up. Philippa, you done messed up, okay? You done messed up. Her notes? Wait, let's actually read her notes. I'm interested. <laughs> okay, thanks. It'll probably be useful for something else. Hi, Jordan. Good to see you. I will say, too, what I like about um, this game is that it's kind of switching the roles a bit with like typical power hungry men and then women who are like supporting the male characters but i it's very refreshing 
to see Philippa and she's just super flawed, you know, and she has her own objectives and she's power hungry. Like, I don't know. That's what we mean by we want equality in video games with female characters and male characters. She's not a villain, but she's definitely not a hero. It's just really, it's really cool to see. Casey, hi. Yeah, exactly. Men get praised for their, her same traits. Yes, she can be cruel and manipulative, but she thinks she's doing the right thing. She's unapolog unapologetically her, yeah. Because her main priority is the sorceresses, you know? That's her main priority and who she wants to protect and fight for ish because well no she seems pretty loyal from what i've seen so far everyone is fighting for their own beliefs and then you're playing you're playing Geralt, who is a middleman for the most part you know which is really cool oops and he you can choose who you want to support and protect and help Is this the chest? Describe it. It's heavy, <laughs> she can't covered in see rooms. It. There's a circle and candles on the floor. Yes, the very chest in which Geoffrey Monk kept his most valuable treasures. The daggers inside. How do we bloody open it? The candles must be lit in a specific order. I figured it out. My notes are downstairs. After that, a simple spell will suffice. Remove my shackles. Geralt, do you know this ritual? Only a mage can perform it. Shut up! I'll light the candles, then we'll remove the dimeridium. Oh my god, Fluffy. That, you are out of control. So I actually do have to consult her notes, huh? Yorvith is a himbo? Yeah. I love him. So, one, two, three, four, five. So, what would you... I think it's looking this way. Yeah. Two, three, four. Oh, my God. Break the code. That's one, but like one, two, three. Hmm. Wait, wait. One, two. They went out. So I guess maybe I have to keep going. Try the next one. Nothing. 
nothing's happening. <laughs> Hi, Sirzat. Good to see you. One. Now unshackle me. I'll open the chest with a spell. Neither of us can utter it. It's not something you learn in a moment. A trained mage is needed to cast spells. The candles are lit. We need to hurry. Do as I say before I lose consciousness. Try anything clever and you will die. I, yeah, I don't think she's gonna do anything. Someone who restored hope to the Enche. She's a monster. If you think she can rule a realm of humans and elves herself. Fetch it, Delian! You'll suffer the consequences of your foolishness. <gasps> Look out, Tom! Ah! do that why'd you do that well <laughs> you're on your own i can't help you wait why oh because i'm in here oh and he's not The moral of the story is I cannot trust sorceresses. <laughs> I can be friends with them, I can respect oh, them, Shit, but let me actually do this one. Yeah. I can't help 
Let's equip the Samum. I thought I had some. Well, I don't, but let's do this. And then let's do... Yep. Um, what am I call it? The use the urge sign or whatever. Oh, why didn't I do this? in a dream one hp in a dream okay and then inventory
bloody barrier. I can't penetrate it. <laughs> You're just trying to stay involved. Look out! <laughs> Fight, Gwyn Blade. Get the dagger and let's get out of here. <laughs> so useful. Let us not forget that um, he said something about an entrance. Oh, yeah, it's a clip. I'm not going to repeat it. Hey, we got her dagger. You know what? I don't believe that she actually let's wanted us dead. I think she trick. wanted us to do a, like, a little trial to get her dagger. Never seen anything like it. I hope it works. Too bad Eilhart won't tell us anything more. Philippa will be far away by now. She was in pain. Let's hope that kept her honest. She's bound to recover quickly and promptly return to conspiring. She's out of the game for now. Mm-hmm. Keep in mind that the other sorceresses are here. Philippa may inform Sheila. I don't trust Sheila. Or command the dragon. I won't be surprised if I'm forced to fight Saskia. Confused Fuck. by spells, she won't understand we want to help her. That You're would probably suck. right. But please don't kill her. Unless you must do so to save your own life. Oh. Oh my god. The way that they are best friends now, and like he basically put Geralt above Saskia. Oh my god! That is so cute! <laughs> he loves him. Time to join the talks. Best I'll go ahead friends. and see what we can expect. People are like, oh, I wonder which woman Meg is going to choose for Geralt. I wonder, like, which love interest she's going to choose. And I'm just like, the friendships are so like the fucking brotherly love in this is so good it's so good a romantics don't care about romance been there, done that with the egg. I just want to hug my friends. Talk to Yorvith before entering the amphitheater. So should I, you know, y'all know I don't care about these contracts. I know he is like, I, I love their love. A summit of mages. Um, I'm open to suggestions of what I should do. I don't care about the gargoyle contract, but what is this? Shelard Fitz Osterlin. I think I can only do this, right? Grovith! Yes! Renard's magic, I tell you! Shut out your main cut. <laughs> 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 What? I'm pressing E. I pressed E. It's the nose. Oh, I forgot I wanted to get him. 
Wait, he has a better fucking sword. Oh my god, Megan. <sighs> Wait, what? 31 of 42. No, no, no. That's a silver sword. Oh, pee pee poo poo. Point of note, so take care of your business. It seems like we're good. Um, I don't care about the gargoyle thing. We did the side quests. I just don't know if there's something else I'm missing, like a side quest that I would actively have to seek out. But feel free to tell me. So, are you a sorceress now? It's the an ex a secret. Good luck. I'm a okay. Thanks, y'all. I'm gonna sell her dagger. <laughs> oh, sorry. My bad, my bad. Eh, ooh, ah, eh. Let's go. I'm so excited to see how this ends. Hi. Leave the royal courts. Pour venom into rulers' ears no more. It's not too late to repent. <laughs> It's about to go down. No, I think I chose Philippa instead. In a hurry to see the deliberations. Here on urgent business. Your dress seems to confirm it. Excuse you indeed. I suppose I couldn't much care. I've heard what I came to hear. And what, pray tell, was that? The rightful heir will ascend to the Adernian throne. There will be peace in the land. What more could one want? Prince Stennis is here? <gasps> King Stennis. Crowned two days past in Vengerberg. Merely send a messenger here. All those present promptly agreed that he will make a good ruler. Prince Stennis. A poisoner, coward, and schemer. He trembled with disgust when he spoke to the peasants. Disdain flowed from him like vomit. But he didn't deserve to be lynched. That was not the justice Saskia fought for. Prince Stennis I, son of Demavend III, became the 17th King of Eren. Oh. He won the hearts of the people. They saw him as the hope of the nation. The realm, ravaged by war, needed a ruler sensitive to the plight of his subjects. King Stennis I, was just that. Disgusting. Fuck that guy. Welcome. Oh, hi. I'm Alona, the bearded she elf. Bearded? Don't be a child. We came here to perform, but this place is a circus in itself. Nobody's interested in us, so we're on to plan B. Trade. What do you sell? Food. Fresh. Very good. You want to buy something, or are you waiting for my beard to grow out? Where's your beard? Fine. I'll bite. Show me your beard. I'll pay your full performance fee. That'll be 200 orans. Buy something, or are you waiting for my beard to grow out? Bye. But I'll have no discussion. Law greetings. Good day. I do a seem. Greetings. Here to see the show. It's cancelled indefinitely. We're now in the services sector. 
What service do you provide? I was once a good swordsmith, or at least it looked like I might be. A riot came through, took my workshop with it, but the skill remained. I actually prefer swallowing swords to hammering them, but that upsets my wife. <laughs> Give her my best. You can do so yourself. She's a loner, the bearded she-elf. Ah, and how's life with a bearded she-elf? Pretty normal. We don't generally bring our work home with us. <laughs> I love that. You know what? That you got to make an honest dollar, you know? That's honest work. We don't I see you took care of the guards. Oh, I hate those monastic curs. They're not paragons of virtue, true. But they were just doing their job. Geralt, we killed so many then guards. They didn't do it well enough. <laughs> Can we go now? <laughs> yes, let's go. Time to finish it. Mm hmm. Let's go, honey. Oh, should I have taken a potion? Oh, fuck. Whether you like it or not, John Natalis, Tamaria will be divided. For the good of the entire North. The united forces of Kedwin and Redania will end the fighting among the Elder Houses and secure peace from Gorsvelen to Elendor. At present, Tamaria is starting to resemble the Pontar Valley. Which, if I understand correctly, is currently controlled by Edern. You are mistaken, Radovid. Vergen is free. Free? What precisely does that mean? Lormark is not Kedwin's, and Eden no longer controls Upper Eden. We have rejected Prince Stennis. King Stennis? <laughs> and handed King Henselt's army a resounding defeat. <laughs> Your forces, my dear lass, are nothing but a motley array of rebellious peasants and elven brigands. You beat him. Sooner or later, they will need to swear allegiance to someone, or they will I be defeated and dispersed. The peoples of the this Pontar Valley will dying. swear allegiance to me, Queen Saskia. As an independent realm, we hereby speak in favor of reconstituting the council and conclave. You're a lovely girl, but you issue from common stock. The sole crown you are worthy of donning is a wreath woven of wildflowers. Redania will recognize no other coronation. In that case, you must choose King Radovid. Will you carve up to Meria? or march on the Pontar Valley. Henselt, last of the line of the unicorns, has sworn to recognize the Pontar Valley as a free realm. Philippa Eilhart witnessed it. Uh, uh, uh. Philippa Eilhart is in my dungeon, awaiting trial for treason. She was in your dungeon, Radovid, but is no longer. She will sit at my side in Vergen as my royal advisor. Everything we did in Vergen will be in vain. There's still hope. We have the dagger. To the oh, matter at hand. Okay. The document describing the charter of the Council uh, and the Conclave uh, uh, is, as previously ascertained, an exact copy of the charter found in the ruins on Thanet Island. The more important question relates to the Conclave and its power to designate royal advisors. Today, randomly chosen majors and sorceresses reside at many courts. However, in the time of the previous Conclave, such persons were carefully chosen. Why shouldn't we pick our own advisors? These individuals bear great responsibility, Your Majesty. The Conclave needs to be certain they are competent. And that they will keep the Conclave's interests in mind. Obviously, sire. The Conclave's chief Obviously, interest is sire. the well-being and prosperity of the Northern Kingdoms. The document has been signed by every member of the Conclave we have proposed as well as by all but one of the designated advisors. We await only Sheila de Tanserville's signature. Without our royal seals, you should be allowed to designate advisors to Cowherd at most. That is true, Your Majesty. My kings, before you sign this document, please hear me out. Excellency, uh -oh. with all due respect, this matter does not concern Nilfgaard in the least. I am here at King Henselt's bidding. Will you deny my right to speak? <gasps> ah! 
What is the meaning of this? This man tried to kill me this morning. He attempted to take an Imperial envoy's life in your lands. I presume he was interrogated. He confessed. Faltest and Demiven died by his hand. He also revealed the identity of his employers. Sorceresses. They helped me with my assassinations. Speak on. The Lodge of Sorceresses sought to remove those rulers who acted against the will of mages. Lodge of Sorceresses? We have compiled a list. Philippa Eilhart. Margarita Loantil. Tris Merigold. Kira Metz. Francesca Finderbear. Ida Emin. And finally, Sheila de Tanzadev. To my deepest regret, two Nilfgaardian sorceresses, Asira Varanahid and Fringa de Vigo. Fringilla, I remember her from the show. Bye bye, Jack. Thank you. Our queen left to powder her nose. Is it gonna be a dragon? She can come back as a dragon. Who's this? Your Majesty, Nilfgaard? what's the meaning of this? Arrest them all. Your document will have to wait, honorable sorceress. What? You have no right. Oh my god. Surrender now if you don't want another massacre, this time in Loch Muin. A court of law will reveal the traitors. I've already managed to stabilize the portal. You've got nowhere to run. Sooner or later, somebody will find you. I prefer to leave on my own terms. Where's Letho? Sir Synthesis will turn to him, as she will to all the fools who get a hard on at the mere thought of burning a sorceress at the stake. Where is he? I don't know, fool. I've been looking for him since Foltest's assassination. Letho cheated all of us. We were deceived by his dull face and sluggish stare. Uh don't you understand? The Lodge sought a way to get rid of Demavend, that's true. He was a weak, volatile king. Edurn would eventually choke to death under his rule. We chose the lesser evil. He had to be eliminated, and Letho happened to be at hand. Voltest? Henselt? We had nothing to do with that. After assassinating Demavend, Letho used our gold and magical support to find and meet Yorveth. The elf was to help him hide until the matter blew over, or so I thought. The Lodge what did not he condemn doing, then? to die. Then who did? Nilfgaard. Oh. Letho is the King of Liars and Emperor of Traitors. 
From the start, he worked for the glory of the great sun and the white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. He lied to everyone. Me, your vet, your stupid little Triss. Stupid and you. little Triss? Got any evidence? A moment ago, I received a message from the Lodge's agent in Sintra. The Imperial Army is on the move. They're fording the Yoruga now. Do you think the North can defend itself in the current situation? And can you count on another miracle at Brenna? I don't know, but you made it all possible and you'll answer for that. The stigma of treason is yours for all time. We shall see. For no one will leave this city alive. How are you doing, No London? one will tell this story. Philippa controls the dragon. As soon as I disappear, it will turn the city into a flaming tomb. We may have lost a battle, but the war is just beginning. You, however, shall not take part in it. God damn it, this Sheila. This is your end, Witcher. Am I gonna have to fight her? Oh my god. Okay. Farewell! Something's not right! The diamond! Someone replace the diamond! This one's flawed! I'll be torn to bits! Geralt, remove it! You waited long enough. Should you survive, go south to Nilfgaard, where you'll find Yennefer of Vengerberg. Farewell, Witcher. Sensitive guy? Should I let her die? Fuck me, dude. Take that. Take that. <laughs> I should not have let her go. Oh, I let her go. Okay, this is gonna be a disaster. of it you know I, I but I don't even have the foresight like please just remember that I I don't know what is happening and I just make decisions based off my intuition and what I know already I don't know <sighs> I don't know Okay. Thank you. I didn't even know it was multiple choice. <laughs> I really didn't know. How many more can there be? Oh my god. So I can't go. Thank you. 
Okay, and then we learned about Yennefer, which gives Geralt some hope. She's a Nilfgaard. I'm... Yeah, pineapple. Just so I know. Oh, her tongue's out. <laughs> Saskia's actually licking Lucy. Damn. No, you can't say that to her, Geralt. Okay, so can't I just wait here until my health goes up? Like, couldn't I meditate? I can meditate! <laughs> That's hilarious! Oh, uh, okay, so this is plus 10%. Let's do that. And then... Perfect time and place for meditation. <laughs> oh no. City on fire, Geralt. Geralt is like, this is peaceful. Yeah, exactly. I got lucky. <laughs> I wonder if I could pass some time. You cannot rest at this time. Okay, sorry. Save? You cannot save at this time. I just want my, like, my vitality to go up. Vitality goes up. And then I'm gonna do my potions. This can be a hard fight, it seems like it. It really seems like it. But also, let me make some... I might make this one because I do need those resistances. Yeah. Um, but I feel like Samon might be good. Yeah, freezes. That looks like a good bomb to have. No. You ring meditate. It's not regaining my health, but I can't, oh, I can't rest you know it says I cannot rest so how's everyone doing the night Except 
excited. <laughs> well, that's good. Good enough. Oh wait, let me equip my Samums. The, the oil on my sword but I feel like the Samum is a good idea don't get hit thank you so much for that thank you and then we're gonna drink the potions Ooh. Ooh, I'm actually... Oh, Quen's side. That's actually a very good idea. Thank you, Dan the Man. Good lurk, Shen. See you soon.
didn't mean to do that. Oh, okay, we were almost, almost there. Now, now we know what to do. We got it. We got it, besties. By the way, I'm streaming in 720 because I want to make sure that my recordings are like high quality for YouTube. Um, and I don't think that anyone, I don't think that anyone really watches me on like their fucking TV or anything like that. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it gets very like, it's just too taxing on my one PC setup to have it at 1080 and then also make a good recording for you too. I'm on TV, oops. Does it look okay? Oh shit, okay. It gets so blurry though. Oh my God, everyone's watching me on their TV. <laughs> Okay, it looks fine. That's good. That's good. I'll anal I'll do some comparisons after the fact. I can't teeth. Look. Oh shit. I tried. It says you cannot save at this time. TV gang rise up. Hi, Talis. That's so funny. That's so cool that I'm on your TV. That makes me so happy. I'm a TV show, baby. Oh, from the menu. No. Uh, 
Um, I'm currently playing through the Witcher series for the first time. We are on the Witcher 2. We're about to go to the Witcher 3. It's wild. But... Okay, yeah, go, 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 go. Thank you so much for the raid. You're gonna love this. Um, welcome everyone. We get up to a lot of chaos here. I like story-driven games. I like RPGs, which is what we do. <laughs> no, arm, that's totally fine. It was just auto mod. mod. Bumble, thank you for gifting us up to Cat. That's so nice. That's so kind. There's a lot of crying and a lot of laughing here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I have a feeling maybe another, what about Dragon's Dream? Or like Dancing Star. I have a feeling that might be better than the Samo because it doesn't actually stun. Right? I'm gonna experiment with that. My thought process was if a dragon breathes fire, then why would a would fire work? You know? Let's see. throws it and it bounces off of nothing. It bounces off of air. do a little bit i feel like i had let me try the grape shot bombs this time 
And then I'm also going to make some Falcus blood. Yeah, let me try the grape shot because that's it just wounds. Um, so we'll have four of those. Is this Dark Souls? Yes, Winter. I think what we're we might do one on Monday, and I want to do Caden, uh, Ashley, Jacob. There's a lot I want to watch. the middle 
because Dark Souls, you kind of want to roll into it, you know, like roll towards the enemy. But with this, I feel like I have to stay on the sides. Dragon, I don't have it, I don't think. Yeah, I might try this oil. was my best. don't the grape shot bombs don't do anything <laughs> your myth can i still get through i can't penetrate the barrier on the nose. I need the armor though. I need the armor.
think Yerden would be a good idea. Trap it with the Yerden! I don't know if it'll actually trap it, but at least it'll do damage, you know? Right. Trap it with the Yerden! Ay ay ay. I actually don't know if I need. I think I definitely want this. Hey, drink potions. Speed run any percent. Speed run any percent. dragon it's a girl dragon she's really cute in human form yeah and i feel like the hitboxes are a little bit funky but you know it's just an older game ish we'll get it um and then i want to make i honestly think these are my best friends
pretty good for me. Fuck you. Shit, you stink. Okay, Gerald. Wait, no, he used the dagger, right? can skip the niceties. Yeah, unnecessary. Yet I sense your readiness to fight on. We were fighting to the death just minutes ago. I understand. I believe I owe you part of my treasure. Family tradition and all. No need. Can you make it back to Virgin? I think so. I've always healed quickly in the past. You know, you're not the first dragon I've talked to. Hmm. You met my father, Villain Trettenmurth, known also as Bork Three Jackdaws. I thought he couldn't have children. He thought so as well. Hmm. Holy Val, hi, I know, right? Just a hint of it. Hi, Bunny, good to see I you again. I can only assume one human <laughs> form. He could transform into anyone he liked. You also don't have his quickness and reflexes, and I don't think I saw a single golden scale on you. Nor do I have his moustache or paunch. Sorry to disappoint you. Professional curiosity. Forgive me. Where is Bork these days? Who can know that? He taught me what he thought I should know and flew off yonder. It's the dragon's way. And he gave me my name. Sasynthesis, if I heard right. I prefer being Saskia. Oh. Sesenthesis. Sesenthesis. Philippa took advantage of the chaos and escaped. Think she could Yeah, her father's the one from the it's show. It's nothing I can control. I don't intend to pursue her. We may or may not meet again, but I shall leave that to fate. Yeah. She's not one to give up easily. I think she'll come after you again, try to take control. I know, but maybe we could get Triss to protect her or something. I shall be cautious or next time. And I know much more about Eilhart than she would ever wish. More than she would wish? Interesting. I obeyed Philippa, but I was not blind. We were close. And Eilhart could not keep all her secrets concealed. 
I know her weakness, something that can destroy her in an instant. Ooh. Valuable and dangerous knowledge. Precisely why I'll keep it to myself. What is that? Can you tell me what'll happen to Yorvith now? Let's be honest. He's a terrorist. I'll not lie about him nor whitewash his deeds. He must earn respect on his own, and perhaps a few generations on, humans will forget. Oh, Did maybe you that's just to use him. Why he's not in the third Geralt, game? Geralt, Yorvith has killed more humans than you've eaten chickens. He's not one to be used. It's not that simple. He came to believe in me and knew from the start what we were fighting for. He made a choice. You're gonna break my boy's heart. Sure you don't know what I'm talking about? Those baby doe eyes, that intense misty gaze, the pouting. We shared a cause, fought side by side. Yorvith did and would do anything for you. Question is, what are you prepared to do for him? Harold is the best there bro. There will always be a place for the Scoia'tael in the free Pontar Valley. As to Yorvith himself, I've heard many say crude things about us. Thing is, as long as I can remember, I found dwarves fascinating. Must be a dragon thing. And though preferable to a human, an elf would be a compromise. What the fuck? I'm dying. Like, what? I'm dead. That's hilarious. She learned Philip I have lost. Lodge has been defeated. That's Zoltan, good. This is temporary. your chance, Sultan. I fear in. we shall hear from again. <laughs> you know, Emir's armies have crossed the Yuruga. I expected as much, as did Philip. We defeated the Adernian lords <laughs> and Henselt. With a bit of luck, a dwarf we'll and defeat a dragon. The How well. cute. <laughs> Sultan, this is your chance. Time I was on my way. <laughs> you shall always be a welcome guest in Vergen. I underline guest. Don't worry. I'm only ever a visitor. I know. Sometimes I wish I could see the future, like my father. <laughs> her fucking and gaping hole in her chest. Be surprised. Yes. Farewell, Witcher. Bye, girl. <sighs> Yen? Yen? Everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. Benny! Hi! <laughs> A witcher named Geralt. <laughs> my my Scoia'tael and I found a new witcher named Geralt. She's alive. Wounded from our scrap, but alive. She impaled herself on a tree, and then I had to use that dagger. But she'll make it. Mountain air is good for a dragon's hide. You're the most noble human I know, Gwynblade. I'm no human. I'm glad you reminded me. My hatred for the species abated for a moment. <laughs> what about Letho? Strange thing. 
He sits in the Temerian's former camp. I believe he awaits you. How do you know? I saw him. He's got Triss. Let's go. Tell me what happened here on the way. While you were fighting Saskia, the city was staged to a bloody oh spit. Oh my god. The players, there were many. At first, it was a hunt for the traitors. I love Avatar. It soon turned into a hunt for all mages. And there were a few skirmishes between Kedweni, Redanian, and Temerian troops. Rape, pillage, and murder. Not necessarily in that order. The pastimes of the Order's pious knights. And the regular troops soon followed suit. The kings, with their choice units, left the city just after the dragon attacked. And the Nilf Guardians? Remain neutral. <laughs> yes, sir, sir. That is to say, they shot anyone who dared approach their camp. Hey, Trisha. That's sad. I'm just like, where is that going through the body, though? Oh my god, Geralt, don't try to loot right now. What's wrong with you? Oh my god, I'm so excited for you, Val. Have fun. <laughs> when we're done with you, you'll be a lump of whimpering meat. Elf! Killed a non human. Can't wait to kill you. Uh, I leveled up big time. I leveled up big time. Let's do. What's this? Ooh. Will you be all right? Yes, thank you. Leave me. What happened here? When the summit ended, we hid in one of the houses, but they found us. They cut off both my sister's hands so she wouldn't cast spells, but I managed to escape. They caught me here. Let's go, Gwynblade. This is madness. I love that, that he has changed. a pet name for him. That's what it looks like now. <laughs> I choose Yorvith. I choose Yorvith. Oh. Blood warning. You're all I think I heard something. And thank you for gifting us into Zelda. Thank you. Long live the Emperor! Yeah, but no one else really calls him that, at least from what I've seen. And he says it so lovingly. Yeah! 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 
Geralt. Die, Nordling! Finish your story. <laughs> I managed to sneak into the Nilf Guardian. Hi, Dub. It was relatively quiet there. Then I saw Letho leading Triss out. They let him go? No one dared stop him. I followed him. I think he noticed me, but didn't seem to care. Once the fighting died down, he went to the former Temerian camp. Is Triss all right? Yes. Letho defended her from marauders. Y'all, I don't care. I think that the way Yorvith says Gwynblade is so loving and so sweet to him so i don't care if the other fucking elves call him that or if it's whatever da, 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 da. all right i think he says it very lovingly and that's his name for his bestie Geralt. i know guys stop <laughs> it's still his cute little nickname for him Okay. Something like that. It's an RPG. I can make it whatever the fuck I want. And in my head, it's a pet name. And it's a cute little nickname he has for his bro. That not many other people call him. Okay. Bye. You can choose whatever you want to do. Stop, Yorvith. I'm going alone. Why? This is between the two of us. Take care of Triss until I return. Your choice. Mine, indeed. There's one more thing you need to know. Nilfgaard's armies have crossed the Yoruga. War is inevitable. Va fail, Gwynblade. Don't get killed. Farewell, Yorvith. If I don't return within the hour, find Saskia and leave without me. Are you all right? Yes. He saved me from the Nilf Guardians <gasps> and defended me from the troops. It's time to end this. What? Yorvith's waiting. I'll catch up with you soon. Geralt, he knows a lot. I know, Triss. That's why we need to talk. I know, Triss. Don't get killed, Witcher. Do you want to hug won't. her? Oh, he's he can't. He's not good at showing emotions and stuff, but <sighs> What are we gonna do? I'm gonna take some potions just in case. <laughs> I'm gonna take some potions just in case. Um, this goes sour. I'm not. I'm gonna not look at chat. Uh, hey, can we put on emote only mode? Mods. Thank you. That's fine. <laughs> well, I was just staring and he's just drinking a bottle. <laughs> Preparing <laughs> meditating. <laughs> Hey. What's going on, bro? What's happening? What is that? Took you a while? Is that bobble from Sheila's megascope? Mm-hmm. My final prank. I switched the diamonds. Prank? The one in the megascope has a flaw. Minute. But just, just large a prank, enough dude. to warp the teleport. The Emperor's magic theorists assured me the effect would be spectacular. I let her escape. You're heartless. You've no idea what the royal witch hunters have in store for her. A lot of pain for a long time. I don't doubt it. 
So, ready to so lay your cards on the table? she's gonna die anyways, probably. No matter the game, there comes a point when all the players need to show their cards. I love that moment. But first... Vodka. Yes! I suppose my throat's a little dry. Yeah! In that case, let's drink to old friendships. <laughs> Bumble, thank you for tipping the mods $20. Thank you. You're the best, Bumble. Just drinking some vodka with my bestie. Uh, recovered Evil your memory Joe yet. Rogan. Not entirely. Remember how we first met. Remember yeah, the time we had. Your life. Couldn't think of a nicer way to pay me back. Frankly, I couldn't. I mean, taking care of another man's woman, Yennefer. I can't fathom what you saw in her, but I suppose there's no accounting for taste. What? The winter solstice 1270. Middenvern, the night of magic. Letho wasn't lying, the hunt had stopped. At the hanged man's tree, the spectral riders selected from among those they had taken. Yennefer was among them. A wraith cannot be killed, so only driven away. Every witcher knows that. Yet the riders fell beneath the blows of our witcher's blades. Crimson blood flowed from under their dead men's armor. We could not kill them all. They were simply too many. Oh. A stalemate. He was different from all other elves. There was no shame in his gaze. He had never suffered persecution. He had endured no massacres. Humans had not taken his land. This elf was not of this world. He was an invader. We struck a deal. My soul for that of Yennefer. He agreed without hesitation. Back with me, friend. Got the feeling you left for a minute. Memories. I remember the hanged man's tree and the wild hunt. I remember the exchange. Me for Yennefer. So, cards out on the table. Unless you chase me all that way just to kill me. I chased you for lots of reasons. You owe me some explanations to start with. Let's say I do. Tell me about Yennefer. What happened after I departed? She was feverish for several days. Delirious. In agony. We thought that was it. She was on her way out. Oh, no. Somehow she recovered. But even then she was disoriented. Amnesia like you. What then? Well, the woman turned out to be quite a character. Throwing temper tantrums. Trying to seduce Ox. Trying to drive a wedge between us. After you so nobly sacrificed yourself, we thought it'd be dumb just to leave her somewhere. She wouldn't have survived more than a month. The whims and vigor of a duchess, but she was just a sorceress with no memory. We were in the heart of the Empire. And as I'm sure you know, Geralt, in Nilfgaard, mages who behave like that either drop their bad habits quickly or are drawn and quartered by horses in the middle of Victory Square. So I heard. So we set out, wandered through the provinces. Everywhere we went, she got in trouble and we pulled her out. So they, he really then took one day care they of her for him. Us. The Imperial Secret oh, Police. Oh no. Me, Ark, Sarit, and Yennefer. Imperial Secret Police? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We were separated, and they questioned us. Long and thoroughly, but it was uneventful. No violence. That's how I met Vatia de Rideau. And a couple of weeks later, the Emperor himself. Me. A simple witcher. What happened to Yennefer? I don't know. <laughs> I don't Never know. Never saw her again. The Emperor offered me a mission in the Northern Kingdoms. As for Yennefer, I had the feeling she was somehow important to Emir. As I see it, they learned of the Lodge from her. 
Those Imperial spooks have their ways. All I heard is that Vatier had his men watch Yennefer closely throughout the time she was at the palace. Then we went off to slay the kings of the north. And that's where my knowledge ends. So she's in the Empire? She was when I left. How did you know where we'd find the Wild Hunt? Every witcher who wears the viper around his neck knows the place. We had so many books and scrolls about the hunt that I used to think our school was founded for the very purpose of solving the riddle of the Spectral Riders. Know who they are? You know the true identities of the Riders? From what I understand, they're some damn elven race. Oh, they're elven. But they turned out to be a big ruse. The legendary omen of war proved to be a fairground attraction. No Market Square mage could possibly conjure up a cavalcade of wraiths speeding across the sky. Then there's the amnesia. No, there's something more, I assure what? you. What? Go ahead, enlighten me. I can tell you want to. There are a lot of legends and myths about it, but the Wild Hunt is a fact. I've fought and killed many of its wraiths. They were spectral emanations, the avatars of real riders. The riders we ran into by the hanged man's tree. Avatars. Are you telling me you were carried off by elves? Real material sons of bitches like the ordinary kind we deal with in this world? They may be ordinary in their world, but they're strangers in ours. Whoa. The conjunction of spheres. Know the theory? Do you know how monsters appeared in our world? No. There's not a witcher who doesn't know Explain that. Explain it again. So you know there are other spheres. The most powerful of our mages can open passages between these worlds, mm. and they usually do that to summon the monsters we then have to hunt. Okay. The elves we saw come from another world, and they weren't summoned. They <gasps> found a way on their own. It's not exactly easy, so they usually send their spectral emanations. They come in person on special missions. What? As they did for you and Yennefer. What? So, elves from another world and their trained wraiths. What did they want from you? I've got an idea. But that's not your concern. Okay, two things. They both go, mm-hmm. Like, that's... They say it very similarly. Mm-hmm. Um, second thing is... This game is not your fucking typical... Fantasy medieval times. Like... This shit is like sci-fi. I had no idea. It's literally like sci-fi coming in through other worlds and shit. And I know that like the mages are very scientific with everything. It's so cool. This is so fucking cool. How did a witcher agree to kill humans at another human's bidding? At the Emperor's bidding, Geralt. And he's no ordinary human. The rulers of the north come up to about where his Pauline's end. Why? Simple. He promised to rebuild the school of the Viper. The Witcher's order where I came to be. Witcher's schools in the south fell into ruin long ago. And Witchers themselves became internal exiles, banned from entering most cities. Besides Serret and Ox, I know of two other Witchers of the School of the Viper who should be alive and on the path. I don't know where they are. Haven't seen them for years. Now they can come out of hiding. They can come home. He kind of just cares about his friends too. <laughs> Why are you still here? Why did you wait for me this time? I knew you wouldn't give up. I knew you'd pursue me. And I don't aim to hide anymore. Fact is, only you know the truth about me. Well, and a couple of folks whose word isn't worth spit anymore. I never saw you as a foe. I want to go my way. But if I have to fight you first, so be it. This story ends here and now. Care to tell me what it was all about? Hmm. Kill as many rulers as we could. Lay the blame on the sorceresses. 
breed chaos. Prepare the north. Soften it before the invasion. And you know what's incredible? We could not have imagined more fertile soil. No matter what the war's outcome, the northern monarchs will accuse one another. Pursue their God-given rights. Seek vengeance and be at each other's throats for years to come. That's very true. The North true. resembles a whorehouse on fire. As your friend Dandelion would say. Care to Hmm, and you know what? No matter the no- How did you manage to contact Sheila? It wasn't a problem once I learned of the Lodge's existence. Initially, she watched my every move. But sooner or later, Hi, everyone starts treating me like a big oaf. Hi, Ignis. I mean, I can change how I look. Ah! I stayed close to Sheila. <laughs> oh, wait. Killed a few I beasts for now. her. And whined about <laughs> how unhappy I was. How unfair the world was. So much, in fact that I actually got her gander up a few times. I made sure a few potentially trustworthy witnesses saw oh, us together. wow. Could link us. He's Security smart. Security in case I was captured. I also prepared to assassinate the King of Kavir. Esterad Tyson was to be the first victim of the mysterious assassins. But before I could do the dirty deed, Sheila asked me to slay Demavend. The gods had smiled upon wow. me. Wow. I couldn't believe my luck. Here I'd been trying to figure out how to frame Sheila. And now all I needed was to carry out her orders and follow through. Where'd you get your information about the Lodge? From the Emperor and Vatir Durido, the Emperor's chief spy. And I believe they got it out of Yennefer. Ugh. She recovered her memory. Nah. I'd never claim she informed on her friends consciously. Yeah. I expect they found a way to tap into her memory in spite of her amnesia. And without her knowing it. So they need another, yeah, a sorcerer another sorcerer. Present, I was questioning. A young, proud, intelligent Don't tell me it's Whatever something. the case, they gave me a list of the sorceresses in the lodge. Only Emir, Vatir, and I were present. Only we knew of the mission. How do you manage to slay Demavend? Sheila's magic. I mean, she could give us the king's every move. His habits, the positions of the oh palace guards, God. anything. All we had to do was navigate the labyrinth and land the final blow. Besides, she had plenty of gold for the preparations. Did they just say that? Abundantly. Um, it had all the makings of a cakewalk, but it's never that easy. We barely avoided our pursuers. Maybe taken by the wild. Hunt. And we wouldn't have if not for Yarveth Skyatel, another of Sheila's ideas. Wow. With Yarveth's elves, not only did we cut down Demavand, but traveling with them put us out of the lodge's reach. We could calmly plan fall tests and Hensel's assassinations. How did you know fall test would come to the monastery's solar? Yorveth and I planned fall tests murder. The king of Temeria would have to deal with the lava sooner or later, and he made no secret of it. I was sure he'd want to recover his bastard children in the process. And where do they take the children when a castle's under siege? I had to become a monk, but I couldn't just arrive at the monastery and claim I'd seen the light. Not very long. <laughs> so one of Arian's patrols out in the forests happened on a Skyatel unit torturing a helpless monk. Arian's brave men drove off the elves and I found shelter in the monastery. I'm kind of sad no that I had to wounds. kill Arian. I paid the monk who treated me a lot of orange to stay Or that I did. I didn't realize Actually, that I could save him. Alone. I killed him later. Uh. Only the dead can keep a secret. Then all I had to do was wait for the situation to develop. When I saw you enter the chamber with Faltes, I thought I might fail. Uh. Luckily, you failed to recognize an old friend. 
Wow. When did you decide to get rid of Yorvith? As soon as I realized I couldn't manipulate him. <laughs> the true fox that was. Yes, he is. He was so observant, so dangerous. Mm -hmm. I got the sense he might see through me at any moment. You made a mistake. You were untouchable as long as the Scoyatel were protecting you. He loves Maybe, the Scoyatel but now. With Yorveth, my hands were tied. If I'd finished off Kieran. But you didn't. And that allowed me to drive a wedge between you and Yorveth. Okay. I forced you to flee. And I let you live. You know I could have killed you. You're forgetting. No, I remember. Hmm. I remember. So Sheila was looking for you when she came to Flotsam. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. She thought she was still in control and wanted to get rid of me. I'd bet my eyes that she thought I'd lost my mind. Or that Yorveth was manipulating me. And the North descended deeper into chaos. Exactly. There was just one problem. You. <laughs> I could have killed you in the Elven Ruins. Thing is, you weren't really my enemy. Oh. You screwed up with Hensel. <laughs> Sabrina's curse tore that down. <laughs> First off, we got holed up in that hideout in the ravines. Then Sheila showed up and started watching Hensel like he was her own ass. By that time, his death was no longer necessary. Fate had smiled upon us again. I learned of the summit and the efforts to reconstitute the Council and Conclave. The ideal setting for the mission's grand finale. Get it. Mm, can you know no the not? I'm done talking. Let's finish this. What a fight. Vodka left in that bottle. A swig apiece. Here. I don't want to fight him, though. I really don't. The Imperial Army is probably crossing the Yoruga as we speak. Pure pandemonium will ensue. The North's finished. Time to go south, where the good life awaits. You're a fool, Letho. Both you and your Emperor are forgetting one thing. Misfortune brings people together. Very shortly, the North could be united like never before. Yep. Thanks to you. But that's just not my concern anymore. I'm not your foe. I never was. Let me walk away and I will. You'll never see me again. Force me to fight. And this time I'll kill you. I don't... How could... I kill him? I don't know. My heart is telling me that Geralt wouldn't kill him. I feel like they are very similar in a lot of ways. And his methods are just like so chaotic, but sometimes Geralt's are too, but I feel like they're very similar. And then Geralt's slightly on the lighter side and then Letho's slightly on the darker side. You know, it's like a yin and a yang kind of thing, but the fact that he's fighting for other witchers and his friends and stuff, um, and he protected Triss. He helped Yennefer as much as he could. I believe him when he says he'll just never see Geralt again. Like, he's not going to kill him. Maybe this is a mistake, but... I've learned all I wanted to know. I can feel the memories coming back. Your death won't change a thing. Go where you will. Just like that. No threats. No words of wisdom. Are you going or not? Farewell, Geralt. Oh. That's sad. <laughs> they were friends once. 
It's sad. Witchers deserve better. The Witcher had traveled far and wide in search of the Kingslayers. Along the way, he had met both the Righteous and Scoundrels, Bernard Lurido amongst the latter. Lurido sold Flotsam to Kedwin and scattered the local non-humans to the Four Winds. Ugh. Flotsam became a military base. Its civilian population was resettled. Oh my god. In Edern, the Witcher witnessed Saskia the Dragon Slayer achieve a great victory. The Pontar Valley, previously Upper Edern, became a promised land for outcasts who dared okay. dream of freedom. Okay, that's good. Even sly old Zoltan Chive came to believe in this land of bliss. Yes! Yet dark times approached for the architects of the New Order. No. Dark clouds have been gathering over Temeria since Fultest's death. Stripped of its king, the land was like a rich cloth which nobles began to shred. These minor scavengers, however, scurried off in fear when true predators reached out for their prize. The summit at Loch Muin sealed the fate of Fultest's realm, when Radovid of Redania and Henselt of Kedwin divided it between them. Ew! Gross, gross, come on. A Henselt. tempest descended on the north at least partly the work of manipulative mages. It seemed the turmoil in Temeria, Edern, and Kedwin would benefit them most. <gasps> Common folk turned against sorceresses and all magic freaks, witchers included. Castles that had hitherto welcomed mavens of the magic arts now shut their gates to any who sought shelter there. A witch hunt ensued. Fuck. It was a time of great uncertainty, of rape accomplished by royal decree. Yet as troubled as the day seemed, we, who had in some way shaped the world's fate, finally received some respite. Zoltan resumed the quest for his beloved's hand, and I laid my head in the laps of the muses. <laughs> okay, okay. Who could have known this tempest which had ravaged the north was but a harbinger of darker days, and the preamble to an entirely new tale of Geralt of Rivia. Ah! Yeah! Okay, we can turn off emote only. Woo! That was so good. I loved that ending and I'm so... Uh -uh. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is beautiful. I was here. <laughs> yes, you were, Chloe. Okay, I was afraid. I mean, it's okay if you killed him. It could have been, you know, I feel like, again, there's not a right or wrong choice, but for me, to me, this game meant there was so much about friendship and like the different kinds of friendships you could have and just like how they kind of saved each other's asses. And I don't think that my Geralt is 
super big on judging people or like thinking he knows what's right and wrong. And to hear Letho's point of view, and although his actions were pretty messed up, like his intentions were there and his intentions were pretty, I wouldn't say noble, but understandable. And look at your Vith. I just feel like with the way that I played this so far, it made sense for him not to kill him because he gave Yorvith chances when Yorvith has killed a lot of people and the Squayatel are not the best at all. I'm Litho, but I approve you saved Letho. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm so excited for three. And they're just similar. Like you could tell the foils, you know, I just finished, um, I just finished uh, L.A. Noir, and it reminds me a lot of Kelso and Phelps, where there's a lot of, like, flooding heads, to put it mildly, and hatred and stuff, but there's a history there, and yeah. If your girl was a neutral party who was just swept up in things, it makes sense to me to let him go. No, I don't think that they were. So it actually in L.A. Noir, there's a part where Kelso's like, I wasn't his enemy. I wasn't his friend. You know, I think that they're just tied together by fate. But there's so much history there. Um, and I would say, Farron, that my Geralt, especially with the Sheila thing, too, I think that he will be more forgiving because I do see him kind of like floating with neutrality. I don't know. I don't know. It just felt like the right thing for me. I can't really put it to words. Yeah, I really do want to play Roche's Path. I'm so glad you liked it, Trisha. There's something to say about him taking things into his own hands and turning to regicide, but we don't know how much of a choice the Empire really gave him, and then he did so much for Geralt. Right. Right, and, you know, Yorvith kind of colluding with him to kill Foltest. I don't know, y'all. It's just... Geralt is a witcher, and now there's a witch hunt, and... I just feel like he's not going to be so quick to judge the non-humans who are doing what they feel like they gotta do to survive and to create a better world. It's not just self-serving. Like I would argue for Philippa and Letho and Yorvith, they're not just serving themselves. If they wanted to serve themselves, they would just, you know, Philippa would get comfy cozy with a, a king and not work for a better, calmer state or like world. You know, Yorvith wouldn't be fighting so much to, to change things. Like these people I feel aren't just self-serving. I feel like they have pretty good intentions at least to start with. Um, Letho wanted the witcher school. He wanted to help other witchers and I just, I don't see Geralt judging them when he's done kind of weird things to get, you know, to help his friends and questionable things. They weren't looked at so greatly before the Kingslaying event, right? It's a complex story. Yeah, exactly. There's no black or white. No, 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 no way. Yeah, Casey, for sure. Um, it's it's hard. I don't know if I should play it or like react to some scenes. The Squirtle have a lot of bitterness in them, but understandably so. I understand Yorvith and why he fights 100%. Yeah, yeah. 
Me too. And I was a little harsh on Roche, but even... Oh my god, the part where he saved Geralt! The part where he saved Geralt, like, that was so sweet! And I just feel like the main takeaway I get out of this, there's no right or wrong, but we can agree that Geralt is doing his fucking best and he inspires such a bond with him and his friends and the people that he's encountered. If even Letho could just like spare him because he felt, you know, indebted to him. And these people do, they want to work with him because he's just... He might not be a revolutionary, but he does do good for the people around him. And I feel like that's what I want to be. That's what I aspire to be. I don't want to change the fucking world. Like, I don't want to have these crazy, crazy aspirations. I just want to do good for the people around me and stand up for what's right in smaller contexts because he is he doesn't want to get involved but he does get involved and he changes things for the better oh for sure zelda yeah yorvith has been killing humans for 200 years and it's great to see him trust in saskia and believe in the land for all people even humans yeah and then his wish is just to be um to just like eat food and have peace because his his fucking um Elves are, they're just hungry. Like they literally, there's hunger, there's pain. <sighs> I really love Yorvith. I hope they bring him back for Witcher 4. Yeah, Roche is a good friend. He was pissed, he sided with Yorvith, yet he still stood by Geralt because he knows Geralt is a good person with true intentions. He did not, yeah. He did not have to save him. He really didn't. He's such a bro. Oh, 100% Smurf. It feels it feels very different to Dragon Age. I don't I feel like I haven't played a game like this. You know what I mean? It's just its own thing. It's its own really deep world. And like I said, it's kind of like science fiction now with the the hunt. I didn't know anything about the wild hunt but they're like specters or avatars of another world. It's crazy. And it's Geralt and Yennefer. Oh. Saskia isn't, yeah, Caleb told me Saskia isn't in Witcher 3 either. Sad. Yeah, it does, uh, Dan, it does make me confused like the plot and all the lore but it makes you very intrigued you know and you can still relate to all this even if you don't know every little piece of lore in my opinion and you can still enjoy it but i feel like you're rewarded for knowing more so like this whole time i've been confused sometimes but i've been super intrigued and i just like really want to learn more about his past and just everything Oh no.
Nilfgaard? Damn, you could have at least swerved. You don't at me, okay? world as we know it nears its end yet the past remain, remains the key to its future mara happy half year she is to an elf guardian invasion oh <laughs> you didn't mean that huh you did not you didn't mean that right Cheers, but not to the Nilf Guardian invasion. Um, anyways, thank you so much for the six months. I did not, okay. <laughs>